with fatigue, one of the things, one of the um, ways we've tried to deal with it is something called energy conservation. Is when we tell people, you know, that to chart their their levels of energy and know when they're going to have peaks and valleys, because there are very discrete and distinct ebbs and flows in energy after your chemotherapy treatments and after your radiation therapies. If you can have that little bit of knowledge and saying, oh, I know that day three after the chemotherapy, I'm going to feel this way and are able to do something about it, it provides that momentum for recovery. You begin to feel, once again, this goes back to the whole issue of taking control. You know, I'm, on this day I'm going to have that much more energy so I can achieve that much more tasks. But I know on day six and seven, I'm going to have limited amount of energy. So I'm not going to try and do as many tasks as I would on day three and four. And therefore, I won't feel hopeless, defeated. I will feel like I'm a little bit smarter than this disease. I can take control. It's so important to help people feel, and it, it's, it might be just as simple as having them rate on a day-to-day -day basis their, num their level of energy and being able to take advantage of that to make them feel that they are taking control over their recovery. It's really important that people have realistic expectations, even on their upswings, and that they take it in small increments. And they know, like, okay, this time I did this many events. Next time I can do this many events. And to know that they're going to stub their toe in a kind of figurative way. They're going to overextend themselves. And to teach, to take that as a learning experience rather than a defeat.